Welcome back. It is the final look in today's try on session. Thank you for watching. I hope you have gotten some inspiration for your autumn winter wardrobe and maybe some new color combinations that you haven't thought about before. So moving on to the last look and this is definitely definitely one of my favorites it's layering again mixing of materials and adding little pops of color and interest in accessories uh, definitely me to a T so again uh, all the pieces here are from Maasai so starting off with this incredible uh, knit turtleneck. This is the Frala knit in Capulet Olive. It's an oversized regular shape and it's 169. Stunning, stunning piece. If you like knitwear but you don't want it to be bulky or chunky, this is definitely the one for you and I adore this colour. It is so good on the skin and it's kind of adding a new combination to outfits and again teaming in really really well with a lot of different colours. Uh, in last week's Try On Tuesday I was showing you all the grey uh, items from Maasai and again those would work really well with these greens as well. So if you don't want to do black or brown try it with grey as well. So the Frala knit consists of 100% wool so it feels like a merino wool. It's really fine weave, uh, very soft but very warm. Not overly warm but just perfect really. <laughs> um, it's all about the shape in this knit as well so as you can see it has slits at the side. Love the length the perfect top to throw on if you're not sure what to wear that day it's that kind of easy piece that just goes over any kind of jeans and trousers and you are done um but look at that slit and it's just all important feature for adding that layer because you're getting a hint of what's happening underneath um and again i think this goes to show how you can do a long top with a short cropped trouser because a lot of people are kind of afraid to do that so i think um you know showing how to do it is important as well and in this case because you have that slit it definitely definitely helps and then because i'm doing a kind of a neat jersey culotte pants and these are also from Maasai it works really well so you have seen these guys before these are the piana culotte and they are in black they are a casual regular fit and they're 129 so they're like a thick jersey material reminiscent of the ski pants of uh, decades ago um, but so fresh and modern love the center uh, stitch all the way down so you have that really cool seam going down it gives an edge and a kind of feel of dressiness to the trouser as well and it also divides up the leg a little bit so it separates it from being just your kind of average casual culottes you have pockets at the sides and you have this great deep uh, waistband and there's a lot of stretch in these they're really soft they're thick in material so they're going to cover everything no need to worry about lumps and bumps uh, they're 63 viscose and 33 polyamide and four percent elastane so quite a lot of elastane and they really do stretch you kind of look at them when you go to try them on you're like not sure but they do stretch uh, there's no back pockets it's just a simple line at the back here you have some little seams going on which just creates a nice shape on the top of the bum um i'm in the size small which is kind of a normal for me in maasai uh, and they're as i say a casual regular fit overall so not fitted not loose just regular and casual really is just meaning the fact that they can be casual they could also be quite dressy um i think with this look i could change up a few pieces i'm going to remove the knit now and show you uh, the little top that's underneath so this is the Danita uh, blouse. Again, a signature style from Maasai. This is a repeat uh, style that you will see a lot and it's in the bias regular. So definitely more fitted. So for more of the petite ladies who like Maasai, uh, this is a great, great shape. It has a lovely neckline with a little keyhole and button, uh, round neck three quarter sleeves or no it's actually a uh, bracelet kind of sleeve length and then at the bottom of the sleeve there's a little fold over which just makes it really nice little feature and it is in this sangria print so it's a mix of similar to what you saw earlier in that kind of burgundy shade and this is a little bit more cerise 
and it has black and it has the olive in it as well. So this is why it's working really nicely with this olive knit and it's just so pretty, easy, easy top. Again, it just goes over any trouser, any jeans, works with the culottes really well, but also with skinny jeans. So you can kind of style it up whatever way you prefer. And it's 99 euros and I'm in the small. And of course, of course, there is a matching scarf, which I've added over the top here. This is their signature along scarf in the exact same fabric and print, 29 euros. Well worth having because it just finishes off the look and it can be used to create a different neckline. I have people who use them as belts, Others have told me they use them as headbands. So, you know, really useful and versatile to have that lovely matching scarf in there as well. Don't want to take off the frall and knit, I adore it. I forgot to tell you that it has these lovely uh, deep, uh, tight stretch cuff as well. So when the shape um, is on, it's just so lovely, so, so lovely. So. Danita top here, I, as, this, as I say, I just have that little keyhole detail. I have my plain black top underneath um, so you can see, and I would always, always be adding in my scarf. So if I was just wearing it out on its own with no knit over it, I would pop in my scarf like that, either leaving it out loose like that or tucking in tails, which is kind of quite common for me to do. So I tuck the tails in, either side of the bus there, just bring them around. And then you want them to kind of end at the same length as the top so that you're just creating like a faux polo neck on the blouse. And it just gives a really nice different look to the blouse. So it's gonna be tucked in here, brought down a little bit better than that in reality. Um, and then you don't see any bulk because the material is so super light. Um, so you can kind of get a good idea of the shape here of the Danita top. So you can see it's a good bit more fitted than normal for Maasai. It's kind of got that bias. So it comes in, nips in at the waist and then flows over. Lovely, lovely length, bum covering, um, great, just not too long. So if you're definitely more of a petite shape, the Danita bias regular is the top for you. And then you can see those lovely sleeve pleat cuffs as well, really good. Again, I think always what Maasai do really well is this signature print. And you kind of already know this is a Maasai piece. Just by seeing that print, you kind of know, oh yeah, I love that kind of Scandinavian feel to it. Abstract, not quite anything, you know, any one thing. It just can be anything. And again, this is their visco, so it's light, so layer it up for the winter time. As you saw, I did it with the frall in it. Over it, you could put that under it if you didn't want to have the whole print covered up. Um, you could also just use your basic layer underneath like me today, just your plain uh, cream top. They're called cream, kind of annoying, wish they had used another word because there is a cream top in black, a cream top in cream and so on. So this is their basic round neck, three quarter sleeve little top that just goes under everything for me, always in stock, in smock, in a variety of colours. Um, so that is it, I think. Uh, as I said, I've added in that little scarf. Um, I've added in just my own boots here in a, a pop of green, just to kind of bring the whole thing together with my beautiful knit. Um, I'm gonna just pop this back on because I love the look so much. Um, and it just feels so cozy without being like super, super bulked up, if that makes sense. Um, and when I am doing that, all important to bring that scarf out again because I want to uh, kind of frame the look and show you what's going on underneath so that you have an idea. Um, love that high neck, oh yes. Uh, so wrapping it around just kind of in that normal way, leaving the tails out for this uh, style because I want them to kind of be that same length as the top. There is the deep cuff, beautiful like this, but I will always, always go in and uh, frame the wrist by bringing the underneath layer out and then kind of just pushing back the outer layer cuff so that it sits over it nice and neatly. And then as you saw earlier, you can see that little hint of print underneath that the slit is so, so cool. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Thank you as ever for watching along. Um, 
Instagram and Facebook have kind of changed things somewhat in terms of videos recently. So it's no longer longer called IGTV, it's just called videos. All the links will be in stories. Um, I have also uploaded all of the Try On Tuesday videos to YouTube. So if you are seeing this on social media, but you have friends or family who would like to see the videos and they're not on social media, just search for Smock Boutique on YouTube and you'll be able to see everything there. So the shop is open Tuesday to Saturday, 11 to five. You can make an appointment or you can just drop in. Um, so I would love to see you and have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.